In the 2014-2015 school year, Liberty Learning teamed up with Wells Fargo to bring the Super Citizen program to fifth grade students across Alabama. In more than four schools and about 11 classrooms, Wells Fargo's generous donation impacted more than 280 students who have now learned crucial lessons in civics, character, financial literacy, career development, and our great American story. Liberty Learning delivered Super Citizen kits, trained teachers, and helped them maximize the program's effectiveness. But the powerful teaching tools were only one piece of the equation for success. Students were immersed in three-step educational experience that rallied the entire community and begged to be repeated year after year. The sponsors are investing in our children. They're investing in our future. They're ta taking those young minds and helping them realize what they're going to be in the future and how they're going to be leaders. And that is so important. Uh, the sponsorship of this program is one that takes a young student and turns them into a citizen and turns them into part of our community. When you take it those levels, um, you're really doing something special. This is an investment in our future and this is an investment that they should be very, very proud of. They're making a true difference in these children's lives and in the life as a result of our country. Um, if we don't pass on these values, it's not just inherent. We, we have to focus on it and we have to make sure that these children go forward and know the, these strong character traits and understand what they can do and, and really embrace the whole idea of our program. I tell you, it's great for to educate our students uh, that they're our next generation. You're teaching our next generation outstanding leadership skills, how to be a leader, um, and great foundation for them, which in, in sometimes we, we don't get that nowadays in, in our youth. Kicking off the program in unforgettable, rock star style, the Next Great Americans bus tour rolled into town and Libby Liberty took the stage, giving stirring theatrical performances that engaged students and left them excited to learn when the bus rolled away. It was a very exciting program and I was so excited to see the kids excited. What a wonderful way to excite the kids about our country, to talk about the USA, to talk about freedom, to talk about liberty, citizenship, community, so exciting and I know that this program will bring great fruit for our community and for our state and for our nation. This was awesome. Um, the citizenship piece, as I sat here listening to uh, Lady Liberty and even afterwards with the remarks that came forth, I was thinking, um, I wish I had this in other schools. And I, I was thinking of specific schools where children need to hear some of the very same words that were said. This is about you um, and, and the fact that you are citizens, uh, you're part of the community. Just great, wonderful concepts uh, to be taught to children. Well, this program is important to our kids because it helps to instill within, in them the values of America, the values of liberty, and things that a lot, a lot of kids are taking for granted now. It's, they're maybe not being taught like they used to be taught. And so I am very happy that our kids can be a part of this and that they can have those values and the, the core values that, that this country is built on. And I'm, I'm very thankful that this program's in our schools. For the next 10 weeks, teachers used original videos, music, workbooks, and online extension lessons to help students realize their important roles in our country's future. And instead of adding more work to already full schedules, Educators are able to teach this quick injection method right alongside required subjects like language, arts, math, science, and technology. This is very important and our teachers love it because it enhances what they're already teaching and it makes it fun. Um, I like the fact that it's project-based and hands-on. Um, back in the olden days of school, we used to have to sit still in a desk and be quiet and listen to the teacher. Now, it's okay to make some noise, collaborate with your fellow classmates, work in small groups, discuss amongst yourselves, make a presentation. Now the students get to become the teachers and that's what makes learning fun. So I love opportunities like this which bring the real world into the classroom for students so that they can learn beyond what they're doing in the school at the moment and in this case being responsible citizens in the community, having economic empowerment, having a, a practical applications for civic lessons and history. Those are the things that take what students learn off the pages of a book to really, really remembering. They will remember what they've done with liberty for 
the past 10 weeks, they will remember that for the rest of their lives. And that is just so awesome. We need to do more of those kinds of things with students and bring the world to them so that they can see what it looks like. So it's exciting. At the end of the program, we return to schools to orchestrate graduation celebrations. Students were awarded graduation certificates, they recited the Super Citizen Pledge, and everyone in attendance celebrated their amazing achievements. And in the final piece of the program, the students themselves took the stage to honor everyday local heroes. It was an emotional experience for everyone involved, and it's a fitting conclusion to the Super Citizen program that teaches, among other important life lessons, that when you honor a hero, you become a hero. I felt honored and humbled um, with everything that a soldier stands for. And, uh, you know, so he doesn't really view himself as a hero. You know, it's a quiet profession. And uh, it's, it's really nice for the kids to know what a hero, heroes are and what they do. This immersive experience continues to create an overwhelmingly successful model for teaching, inspiring, and empowering our next great Americans across the country. And the all hands on deck movement would not be possible without the help from Wells Fargo. I would most certainly like to say thank you. Um, I would like to tell Wells Fargo thank you so much. Um, I want to say thank you so much. The kids love the t-shirts. They love all the, um, the flags and the hats they got to wear. And it was very nice of them. We're in the process of writing thank you notes. And I hope that they do it next year and that I can be a part of it. But then I also want to say thank you for giving them the opportunity to see that education is important and that education really will help you out and help you get to where you want to be in life. It takes a, a community to, to help these kids grow and be good citizens and we can't do it with just the school teachers and the parents. It takes the sponsorships, the local businesses and all to, to make something like this happen. I would like to thank them for contributing what they contributed, be it anything from money to time to resources. Um, I would like to say keep doing a great job. It's great for the students, it's great for the teachers, it's great for the whole community. Um, and just, just keep it up, you're doing a great job.